Here's a quick tutorial on how to use H2R SuperSource layouts with your ATEM Mini Extreme. Now this will be valid for if you create the macro through the website like this, and you can copy the macro like that. And it's also valid if you use the SuperSource Big Packs download. The same things apply. I'll be following along with the download for now, but it works for both of these instances. So let's just get rid of that for a second, because the first thing we want to do is actually save the settings out of our ATEM Mini Extreme before we go any further. So in my case, I'll go to File, Save As, and then on the desktop, I will just call this my ATEM Mini Extreme and hit Save on that. That file will be super important in a second. I'll press Save and I will make sure that everything is selected so I can export all of my settings. So hit Save on that and wait till the saving is complete, which it is done now. The next step is to either head into H2R SuperSource Layouts, uh, the website, and copy the macro there, or pop into the reference guide of the big downloads pack that you purchased, and then have a look for the, for the layout that you want to use. So in my case, I'm gonna use C109. I like the look of this side-by-side -side one. So I'll just hide that out of the way for a second and pop into the big downloads pack. And in here, the C1 folder, I have C109. So I'm just gonna open that. I prefer to open it in a code editor. It can be opened in Notepad and stuff, but in my case, I'll just open it in a code editor. And here you can see I have the macro that I need to create this layout. So what I will do from here is hit copy on that. So it's in my clipboard. And then the next step is to open up the macro uh, XML file that I exported from my ATEM just a few seconds ago. And I did that on my desktop and here it is down here. So I'll right click on that. And then again, open with code. And if you haven't looked into this file before, there is a lot of things in here and it's basically all of the settings for your ATEM Mini Extreme. But in my case, I really just want to scroll, 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 scroll on down and I want to find the macro pull, and here it is here. It starts here with this opening macro pull tag. And you can see in my case, I have a few macros in here. So that's uh, my first macro. It starts with zero, but that's macro number one in my case. I have another one there, another one here, another one here, and another one there. So what I want to do is add my macro that I just copied below all of those other ones. So in here, I'll just paste that in there. And I'll just use tab on my keyboard just to tidy up the formatting a little. Now this is a very important thing to note right now, is that the previous macro had an index of five. The one before that was four. So in my case, I wanna go four, I wanna go five. I wanna call this one index number six. So I'll type that in there. And I can also give the macro a name that helps me remember what it is. So in my case, I could leave it as C109 or I can go side by side. Let me just fix that eye there. And I'll call it side by side. And I can also give it a description too to really set it apart, but I'll just leave it as uh, as that for now. And then I will save this file, control S to save it. And that is ready to be imported back into my ATEM. So I'm gonna close that down, close this down and pop into the ATEM software control again. File, I'm gonna hit restore. And then I'm gonna find that same uh, that same XML file. So it was called my ATEM Mini Extreme right there. I'll open that up. And now in this case, I actually don't want to import all of the settings. So I'll select none, but then I will manually uh, tick macros again, because that's the only one I actually really want to import. So I clicked on macros there, hit restore. And this takes a few seconds. You can see on the bottom here, and now it's 100% complete. And if I pop into my macros area, I can now see I have a bunch of macros in here, including this side-by-side -side one that I just imported and added. So this is the one that came with the H2R SuperSource big pack that I want to use. So I've repositioned a few things here and you can see my ATEM software control off to the side. It's not as important right now, but what is important is the macro pull here. And I also have the program output of my ATEM Mini Extreme in the background so you can see what's happening at the same time. So this is what's on program. Right now I have SuperSource on program, but it's a completely different SuperSource than the one I wanted. 
So in the macro pool, I can go to run, recall and run, and I can recall and run this side by side macro. So let's hit that. And you can see things don't look as you might expect them to. And there is a good reason for that. And uh, we will just backtrack a little bit back into the code again. And you can see here that um, this is the macro that I was using. And the reason things don't look quite right in my case is because of these SuperSource V2 box inputs. There's two of these in this macro. Number one is there, number two is down here. And you can see what these refer to is what input should fill that box. So in my case, camera one should fill the, uh, the left-hand side and camera two should be filling the right-hand side of my program output. But that is clearly not working. And that's because I don't actually have cameras connected to camera one and camera two on the ATEM. So in the use case today, I'm just gonna change this to color one and to color two, because I don't actually have any cameras connected. But if you have cameras connected to input number four and input number five, then you'll want to change that to camera four and camera five, for example. So let's just one more time hit save on that file, head back over to the ATEM software control. I'm going to do the same thing again, restore, choose the same file, open it up, don't select anything but the macros, hit restore, and then just give that a few seconds to restore, and I can see that has been completed now. And if I hit this side by side again, actually let me just uh, close out of this, so you can see the program up here on the back left. Hit the side by side again, and there you go. The uh, macro runs, and the super source layout that I expected loads up, and you can see it working just the way you wanted it to work. So that's a quick look at how to use the macros that you can copy out of H2R super source layouts, import them into your ATEM Mini Extreme or Extreme ISO, and use those layouts during your productions. I hope you find that useful and do reach out if you have any questions or issues along the way.